great song to start this interview and I promise you if you anything you're doing stop right now because Travis Ebanks is just going to motivate you after being ridiculed for most of his life because of his disabilities our next guest is stepping into a bright future he is a national Paralympian and recent graduate of the University of the West Indies in law. He's now at the Norman Manley Law School, Travis E. Banks. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. My it's pleasure. morning Thanks for time. Me. Travis, oh my gosh, there's so much to talk to you about. First, let me start by talking about um, law. Travis, you're just done and gone into Norman Manley, <laughs> which means you're bright, 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 bright. I try my best. <laughs> but it, was, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, Smooth journey. No, Talk it wasn't. To me about, it definitely wasn't. About what happened. Um, so I started after finishing high school. I applied for both international relations and law mm -hmm. at UWI. Um, I got through for both, but due to financial reasons, I had to defer law in 2015. So I started with international relations. It was very, very good, believe me. So after one year in international relations, I then transferred to law, which is what I really wanted. And that year, I guess I heard the bad news. My mother was diagnosed with cancer and it really tore me apart because losing my father to cancer, that was just something devastating. Mm. And this all happened around examinations. And I was, as I, I was in no, con I, was, I wasn't conditioned for an examination situation. I fainted about three times on campus mm. and I went ahead, I did the examination, performance was unsatisfactory. I was required to withdraw. From the faculty? From the faculty. Mm. Why did you go back? It's the determination, the willpower to always overcome that challenge or that struggle. Mm -hmm. um, because for me, um, my three motivations are my disapp um, disappointment, my mother, and my disability. Mm -hmm. And using those as the factor, I said I have to overcome this challenge. Mm -hmm. And I appeal um, that required to withdraw. And the, the dean of the faculty, Dr. Leighton Jackson, said that he will grant um, the appeal. However, I must undergo counseling mm -hmm. and I went through the counseling for about two months and here I am today. How did that work for you? Because a lot of times you said to Jamaican people, go counseling, go and do therapy. We kind of, we don't like doing it, but, but it helps. And it helps you to put yourself back at a place that you could succeed. Definitely. To be, to be honest, going into this, like, I was all, I never really see the benefit of counseling. To be yeah. honest, I never saw the essence of it. And when I went there, it was just, I was just blown away. I like, I just sat there mm -hmm. and I talked and I talked and I was able to express myself and knowing that there was someone there to listen, it was yeah. really comforting. Let's talk. Yeah. So, so dad gone because of cancer, mom not well, um, and that must have put a strain it financially was. on it the was. family. So again, you're being faced with, yeah, I forgot to come out and law, because if he can't pay. Definitely, definitely. And what did you do? Um, so going, that, so that was first year, going to second year, um, I was always registered like a few days before examination mm -hmm. and I must thank um, the office of the deputy principal because they allowed me to do uh, it to do um, mm -hmm. and to register and allow me to, the, um, to do the examination in spite of the balance going mm -hmm. and in final year um, this was uh, the big time because last you, hurdle, last hurdle. Yeah. and I remember I was registered twice in February and in March. Mm. And at that time, up until February, I owe $1.3 million. Mm -hmm. And Mercy. I, I reached out to the Ministry of Sports. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, I thought that it wasn't coming through. But the Lord spoke. And an hour, an hour before examination, I received an email from, from the Ministry, from the principal office, saying that the Ministry is committing to provide full cover, a full um, scholarship for the entire... An hour before. An hour. Not only that, the University of the West Indies also sent me two emails um, granting two scholarships valued at $1.3 million. So in total... So you're over... You're, you're, I, you're so over I didn't, doing it. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I had balance. Yes. As in, not owing the university. No, but you, you were over you. Precisely. In the sense of the word. <laughs> um, but the Ministry of Sports would have intervened because you're a national athlete. That's correct. Um, you're a national para badminton player. Started out with Taekwondo in that's your head. All right, that's Why right. Travis Cena is it? But what happened? How did you end up playing badminton? So, um, 
as you, as you rightly said, it started out in Taekwondo, part of Taekwondo. So we did this, we did the test out here because then we have to qualify and stuff like that to ensure that you match the criteria of the Royal Taekwondo Federation. Mm. So having undergone all of that, seeing a medical doctor out here, we, we flew up states, um, um, Las, uh, Las Vegas, pardon me, uh, with expectation, yeah, that this is it. And like on the day of the competition, we saw a team. We saw a team from the United States and he was like, um, the team said, you're going to play? And I said, yes. I guess they got... Um, Bad man. He said, you're going to play? I said, yeah. And he said, no, you're too tall, you're too big. And I insist that I'm going to play. And on the day of classification, because you have to be classified before you go into your specified group, mm -hmm. on the day of classification, um, they, they, they came and they did their assessment. They said I should step outside. And when I stepped outside and they called me back, they said, Miss, I'm sorry, Mr. Evans, however, you're ineligible. I was like, huh? Mm. They said, yes, your arm is two inch above the requirement. I was like, wow. what is this? Wow. And then I asked, could we appeal it? It was like, no. they said that, yes, we do allow for appeal. However, at this conference, at this competition, we don't have an appeal. So it was like a slap in the face. And then Mr. Samuda, Christopher Samuda and Neville, Neville Sinclair, pardon me, um, from the Jamaica Parliament Association, they said that they want to bring back para badminton and I would be a great fit and and you went and you, and you <laughs> secured a gold medal um, in the summer games in, in Abu Dhabi that this year. is correct so I represented Jamaica as a unified partner mm -hmm. at the Special Olympics game 2019 in Abu Dhabi and I must say the experience was phenomenal. Look here when Jesus <laughs> says yes, nobody can say no. Because Travis may be a winner win a gold medal in the Taekwondo. <laughs> Precisely. And you're going to win a gold medal in, in badminton. So it's worked out great definitely, for you. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, we have to go. But for, for the young people that are watching and are going through the things that you're going through, facing the challenges, what is your word to them before we wrap this up? Continue fighting. Um, all my life, I have been fighting, whether from a younger age, um, being ridiculed for my disability, and um, being called chicken finger, chicken hand, and stuff like that. I've always continued to fight. And it's just about overcoming your mm -hmm. obstacles mm -hmm. and never let your circumstances define where you're going in life. Yeah. And that is pretty much what I'm doing. I want to live my life as an as example for others, and that is pretty much what I want to do. Travis, make mm. sure half of the people that I call you chicken finger, <laughs> don't even know when I'm at the airport there, <laughs> and you went to Abu Dhabi and you got a gold medal, you, you finished law school, you're going into Norman Monday. So it is something to every child that is watching this morning. Two things, leave people alone and focus on where you're going. And for those of you who feel like, boy, the world is against yeah. me, God is for you. That's and that correct. is all that's important. Definitely, definitely. It's such a pleasure to My meet pleasure. you. My pleasure. <laughs> Travis Evans. That's correct. Lord, what a story. Para badminton athlete and soon to be attorney at law from Lacovia High School, I have to say this, and then six from Black River, because we big up schools all the time. Lacovia and Black River, great school.